Happy New Year, FSW community. I'm FSW President Dr. Jeff Albritton. Welcome to the spring 2022 semester. It's a new year, a time for a fresh start. This year is also a significant milestone for FSW. 2022 marks the 60th anniversary of our beloved college. We will talk much more about how we plan to celebrate this anniversary in the coming weeks. History has proven over the last 60 years that this institution has overcome many challenges and has celebrated countless successes. This semester will be no different. COVID-19 continues to pose challenges as we move from variant to variant. The sudden surge of the Omicron variant means we will have to once again be extra diligent in the way we conduct business to ensure academic continuity. So I again would like to ask a favor of you. I'm here to ask every student, staff, and faculty member to take all the precautions you can to keep our Bucks family safe and limit the spread of COVID-19. Here are three things you can do which we consider extremely important. Number one, please consider wearing a face covering in all FSW buildings at every opportunity. While not required, we are strongly recommending that you wear a face covering to help keep the FSW faculty, staff, and your fellow students as safe as possible. If you don't have a face covering, we will be happy to provide you with one. Just stop in any office on campus and request one. They are also provided inside each classroom as you enter. Number two, please get vaccinated. Getting vaccinated is our best defense against this virus. Our hospitals are again seeing an increase in the number of unvaccinated COVID-19 patients. Number three, if you're sick, please stay home. Get tested. If you have either exposure or positive tests, please report this to the FSW COVID-19 response team. There is a link to do that right at the top of the FSW homepage. We remain under the same CDC guidelines as we were under for the fall semester. We continue to monitor and will update when there is more clarity. Our facilities staff is vigorously cleaning classrooms, office, and common areas. All of these steps provide the best defense to preserve in-person classes, ensuring academic continuity, and protecting the health of all. We continue to monitor the situation daily. I'd like to personally thank all faculty, staff, and students for all the steps you've taken to ensure public safety. Have a great semester, and we'll see you later in the spring.